Sim Center FEMAP 2021.2 addresses a long time request from customers by offering the ability to specify subcases for transient frequency and nonlinear transient response. This can be used to specify frequency, time step, or nonlinear parameters in different dynamic subcases or account for stress stiffening and optionally impose contact conditions using a static subcase. To demonstrate this, we are going to create a new analysis set in a model which had previously been set up to run a frequency response analysis. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click new, we're gonna choose SimCenter Nastran, and we're gonna choose frequency harmonic response as our analysis type. We're gonna click okay. We're gonna come in and open our options branch. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our modal buckling tab. We're gonna click edit. And we're gonna make sure that our solution type is set to modal. I'm just gonna click next. And we're just gonna make sure that we have nothing specified for options for dynamic analysis. And we have no solution frequencies specified in the master case. So we're gonna click okay. And we're gonna come now to where it says no cases defined. We're going to click new. We're going to choose either frequency harmonic response or static from the dropdown. So what we're actually gonna choose here is we're gonna choose static. Then we're going to click next. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a bolt preload from our loads drop down here. And what this is going to do is actually create some contact for our frequency response analysis. We're gonna click okay. I'm gonna come in here to uh, and just highlight our case number one. This, this time we're gonna have analysis type B frequency harmonic response. Okay, so once we have that specified, we're going to click next. And in here, we're gonna go over to our options for dynamic analysis and choose a previously existing modal damping table. Then we're gonna come over to solution frequencies and we're gonna choose both that we have defined currently in the model. So what this is gonna do is, is give us a freak one and a freak four in our Nastran input file. We're gonna click next. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna choose our dynamic excitation from the loads dropdown. And then we're gonna click okay. Uh, what we're now going to do is go into our dynamic subcase and we're going to have it reference our static subcase using a stat sub. So we're just going to click on stat sub, click edit, and we're going to choose our static subcase on in the preload subcase section. Okay, so once we have that specified, we're going to click OK. And now we're going to do a preview input. And what you're going to see here is that we have subcase one has a load and a bolt load specified and subcase two here you can see we have a preload stat sub a deload a uh, that's our modal damping table and those are our solution frequencies that are specified so i'm just going to click done uh, we can analyze it from here but i'm just going to click done because i've already run this job once what we're going to do is we're going to just open our charting pane you can see that now we can view our results say t3 accelerations on three particular nodes or maybe we wanna switch that and we wanna look at T1 translations on those same three nodes. So that's what you can do by having the ability to specify multiple subcases for dynamic analysis.